Hey there gang, welcome back to the big board. We're doing uh, turn three. And it's the access or the German's turn. I've been thinking about pulling some units from here and shift them by rail so that they could start providing uh, some sort of security forces down here. That might be overkill. I may have some other wiki units I can pop in there. But for the moment, I've got a small force of Soviets not quite surrounded uh, here, where we just brought our reinforcements on and we rolled for the reinforcements and got both the 9th and the 16th motorized, the 9th Panzer and 16th motorized on the board, which is good. Uh, we're moving the railroad down, we'll get onto that in a minute. Uh, the 25th motorized and its uh, associated friends uh, are going to try and move up this way this turn. And then we've got this situation over here where Kursk has fallen. Uh, the 4th Panzer came in there and did its job. But uh, we're going to have some supply problems this turn probably. There's supply up here. Not a lot. Um, and we've captured RL. And I could put an extender here. Uh, it's very lightly protected, but they don't actually have any units within striking range. And I think this guy can make it uh, nope, five. But uh, I'm not really sure what to do this turn. I keep pushing forward, but uh, maybe pause to uh, secure the supply line and uh, push some supply up to these guys. I even flew in uh, a T or two up here <coughs> last turn just in case they got more reinforcements than I thought. The Russians rolled poorly for reinforcements again and uh, they railed and moved these four units. These were mandatory reinforcements. We didn't roll for those. They were on the setup chart to come in that turn. Um, I didn't have supply for these guys, and I, I thought I read somewhere where you come on in uh, supplied or fueled. I need to check that, actually. I'm not sure if that guy can move. There's no headquarters up there to throw any supply to him, nor is there any supply in any sort of range. Yelets is the closest supply, and there's supply down here uh, in Voronezh, right there. I actually got bumped by my book, but whatever, that's there. Um, the whole uh, Bryansk area is thin in the rear, uh, heavy at the front. We've pulled back a little bit. Uh, we're starting to try and move units out of there. I think, uh, you know, I think, I think the Germans plan that the, their goal this turn will be to try and encircle Bryansk as best it could, but they're not going to be able to cut them off from supply completely. So we're going to have to try and pocket smaller sections of units or something. I'm really not sure. I haven't, haven't thought about this. I, I'm kind of more keen to get this railroad taken completely. I put my effort into crushing all of this in here, either in combat or uh, by uh, choking off supply, because I can do that this turn. I think I can reach here and cut supply off. And uh, this supply would be cut because we have Kursk. So that might be cool to try and do. And uh, cool our heels here for a turn, but it's kind of a waste to have uh, three panzer groups sitting around, or two panzer groups sitting around. Yeah, three. I've got the third, the 17th, and the 18th up there. All right, that's kind of the, the status at, uh, I'll give you a big picture look if you want. That's the status at the beginning of the third turn for, um, with the Germans about to move.